All right, folks, getting ready to head down to Gunnerful Lake, and uh, I'm going to do some live bait, all natural swim bait fishing today. And, uh, and I'm going to stop at the tackle store down there, and I'm going to buy me some uh, some bulk bait because I've been having a real hard time catching bait over at Gunnersville. It's going to, we're going to throw some uh, golden chiners today. I'm going to dip some water out of this little creek right here behind my house. Now, this creek, it's not polluted or nothing. It's just got a lot of iron in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this water out and put it in that bait tank that I've got. And then I'll show y'all later how it filters the water, kind of like an aquarium. And then when you put your bait in there, it keeps it good and lively all day long. That's what you want when you're fishing. Oh, natural swim bait or live bait. Okay, here we go. All righty. Now when we get over there, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up and it's gonna be filtering that water while I drive over to Connorsville. Folks, I'm just about up here to uh, GTO Tackle here in Gunnersville, Alabama, and I'm going to buy me some golden chiners. We're going to go out here on Gunnersville Lake, and we're going to try to catch a Gunnersville smallmouth bass, which is a little bit unusual. Most time, folks over here, they go over them largemouth bass. Here we are. Don't y'all look at here at all this tackle they got in here. Hey, Rocky. hey Chris. How are you, buddy? Okay. How about it, everybody? If y'all need any kind of tackle, they got it. I mean, this store is packed. Got rod and reels, fishing poles. Look at all them. Y'all got stuff, ain't you? We got a little bit of stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I want. All right. Yeah, just give me about maybe a pound and a half of them, Chris. I got you. And here we are at the end of December, folks, and it is 64 degrees. Can you believe that? We're going to start out up towards Gunnersville Dam. There's a couple of places up there that I caught smallmouth in the past. And I think we catch us one up there, sure day. So that's what we're gonna start out doing, and hey, we'll just go from there and see what happens. Anyway, folks, I'm glad y'all joined us today. I show sure away. Here we go. All right, folks, it's gonna be our first stop here. We're gonna try it right here for a few minutes. Pull up here and see if we can't catch a smallmouth bass. Whatever, I mean, we we just fishing, but we'd love to catch a gun of smallmouth bass. And, folks, I got this thing about eagles. I always say, well, you know, I'm not gonna catch much till I see an eagle. Well, I know you can't see it, but I just seen two eagles. You can hear them right down there. I just seen two eagles fly, so I double good luck. Uh, I might just need this today. I feel like I might anyway. I'm gonna get it ready in there. And get this duck rod out. Put a little bit of split shot on. Just get that manner down just a little bit when I throw it out there. Not much more than a BB split shot. So that's that's basically it right there, y'all. Look at that. Alright, let's get one of these manners here. Yep, golden shiners. I'm just gonna pull right over here and swing it right around this way. And ease around through there and fish. See what we can catch. We're gonna catch something now. I mean, most time you're gonna catch something on this all natural swim bait. I mean, that's just all it is to it. Now this is bought all natural swim bait. <laughs> Folks, look how clear the water is. See there? That rod is three feet down in there. See there? Three feet. And you can see all the way to the tip of it. So the water is crystal clear. So that means, I mean, I can see my line going out through you out on the water. So that means we're not going to be able to get real close to these fish. Fish are hard enough to catch like it is, <clears throat> much less a spooky fish is really hard to catch. And I know one thing, if I was a fish and I seen a boat, <laughs> I don't think I'd be biting nothing around close by. Uh-oh, y'all. This is a fish right here. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth, y'all. Jeez, look at that boy, he got the minute. Doggone. Well, that's encouraging anyway. I mean, it was swimming up through here with it. I just got it here too. I mean, that's about the third throw I made. Jeez, I don't know how I missed that fish, but I did. I sure did. Now that hurt. Look, folks, two eagles. Look, can you see them? I hope you can. Oh, one of them just lit right in front of me. There's another one just flew. Oh, look, 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 look. Can you hear that? Ooh, you know what that means? That means we've been catching fish. 
Now, what you want to look for when you go down these banks like this is ambush points, where you where fish could just stage up, waiting to ambush themselves a meal as as it floats by them. So any of these treetops sticking out like that one right there, especially see that one. I mean, it could be a big old bass land there just waiting on something to come down through here. So pretty anxious throwing that one right there. So we'll see. I think right there, there might be a fish in that tree right there. I don't know. Let's go up there and see. If I was a fish, I'd be in that tree right there. That's a good looking tree right there. Let's see. Let's go up there. When you fish these treetops like this, you can't let that minnow stay down in there very long. You'll get hung every single time. I didn't get up in there just like. There he is, y'all. Yeah, there he is. I knew there'd be one in there. Let's see what it is. Good Lord and mercy. He hit it coming back to the boat. Oh yeah, look at here. What we got, y'all? Oh, it looked like a pretty good large mouth bass. A really nice large mouth bass. <laughs> that treetop right there. I figured there'd be one in there. Look at Oh yeah. Look how clear that water is. Lord have mercy. Oh yeah. Come here, fishy. He ain't want to come to this boat. He put me a fire boat. He's a nice one. Ah, right, come here. Boy, look what a pretty large mouth bass. Thing is just come here. I'm gonna get him. Look here. Look at that. Gone for large mouth. Well, we're trying to catch small mouth, but hey, this is good okay with me. If you look there. Hey, look you see that black stuff right there on his tail? That's called melanosis. That's a pigment deficiency that this fish has. Well, that makes a second one I've caught in the last two fishing trips has had that black stuff on them. That melanosis. Anyway, that's a nice large mouth bass. I don't think, I, right over there in that brush pile, y'all. Had them two eagles sitting right above us a while ago when we first got here, so we're gonna turn this one loose and we've been catching up. Yes, we are. Let's go down in there. Woo! Boy, that thing took off. I'm telling you, it took off big time. All right, I'm having fun now. Folks, I know we over here on Gunners Lake trying to catch a small mouth, but let me tell you something. I'll take them right there all day. I love catching bass. It don't matter to me. Nice large mouth right there, pretty fish too. But you remember when we, when I left the house this morning, I showed y'all this water in this extreme bait tank, how dingy it looked. And I dipped it out of that creek behind the house. It, uh, it's, a, it's just a lot of iron in the water. It was, you know, it's not nasty water or anything, but this bait tank, I'm gonna show you now how it filtered that water. You remember what it looked like when we left this morning? Now look how clear it is. Well, see, that's what you want. A bait tank to do you want it to filter that water just like an aquarium it's done took every bit just about every bit of that old dingy look out of that water it's almost crystal clear we got them big golden chiners in there boat and we're having fun over here on gunnerful lake now let's get out here and catch a nut yes sir buddy all right let's get us another one of these here golden chiners catch us another fish yep you know somebody doesn't like to or don't have the means to catch their own bait. You can always go in the tackle store like we did this morning down there at GTL and buy these golden chiners right there. I mean, hey, they'll catch fish. I'm telling you right now, that's all I ever used to use till I started catching my own bait. Well, that's what I was talking about. See that tree, it's laying way out in here. And if you let that minnow get too close to the end of it, it's gonna get around one of those. And that hook will not come loose from a tree. I mean, it sticks in there, so. Had to break that off. I'm just telling you right now, it's a little bit frustrating. That's okay, I got plenty of hooks. That's right, I got plenty of hooks. Fishing these treetops with live bait. I mean, if you're just throwing a bear hook like I'm doing with no, no weed guard and nothing on it, I mean, it's, uh, you're gonna get hung up. I mean, it's just all this to it. Boy, we got some good looking treetops right here. So we're coming up on transition right channel where that bluff line is. There ought to be some fish right there for sure. Sure they ought to be. Here's another one. I'm gonna get me one of these big golden I like them big golden shiners. Mm -hmm. Bigger the better. Bigger the better, y'all. It's a perfect throw right there. Just don't let it go down in there very far. He'll run up out of there and grab it. I mean. You just can't let it get down in there. You'll get hung every time on it with these minners without any kind of weed guard on it. Uh, 
Oh, there was a fish just run up and tried to grab it as I was reeling it back in. I saw it, a small one. Big boat just come by. We got a lot of wash over here on the bank. Sometimes it fires these fish up, makes them want to bite. There he is right there. Yeah, we got a good one. This is a good fish, y'all. Oh yeah, this is this might be a netter. This might be a netter. Oh, we'll be able to tell what he is in just a minute. He's definitely a bass and he's definitely a good fish. I'm talking about a really good fish. Yes, he is. Oh my goodness. Big large mouth. I'm at home about a whopper. Yeah, he is. Look at that what one, y'all. <laughs> In that clear water. I'm gonna have to get the net on this. That's for sure. He's a waller. There we go. <laughs> now, this is what Gunner was noted for right here. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish right here, y'all. Gunner's full large mouth pretty thing all right let's turn him loose we having fun now on these golden shiners all right i don't like keeping out of water long go back down in there there she goes we'll catch her again on these days what we're going there all right folks we're gonna head up towards gunnersville dam now right up through yonder we just got done through fishing this bank right here and we caught them two really nice large mouth on it but now we're gonna head up towards the dam. I think our chances of catching a smallmouth bass is gonna be better up that way. I'm anxious to get up there. I ain't been up there in several months. So anyway, that's where we're going, right up through yonder. Yes, sir, let's get with it. Uh -huh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, folks, we're gonna pull up here and we're gonna fish right in this point right here. Right next to the main river channel here. Oh yeah, folks, we got one coming to the boat with it right now. Here we go, this is funny. Oh, this is a small mouth. Oh. Oh, I hope it's a big old, oh man, look at Oh, there's another one with it. One is, well, I can tell you what. Uh, oh man, look here, nice big spotted bass. There was another one come up next to it. Twice as big as this one here. Right here, look here. So we're gonna sit right here and fish a minute, y'all. Well, I mean, look at this fish now. You know what? <laughs> You're not gonna believe what I'm thinking to tell you about this fish here. You ain't gonna believe what I'm thinking to tell y'all. This, <laughs> folks, let me show you something here. You see that fish? See how he's marked up? That's crossed between a small mouth and a spotted bass. It's a mean mouth. See how the markings are? All the way down almost. And you got the little patch on the tongue right here. So we halfway to a small mouth. That's exactly what that is, mean mouth. Mm -hmm. Sure is. So we're gonna turn him loose. Look how pretty he is, y'all. Uh, go back down in there. All right, took off, disappeared. Well, folks, just got back from fishing, pulled a boat in here, and uh, this morning when we started out, I filled this bait tank up with some water out of this little creek here behind my house. And, uh, and I showed y'all what it looked like. It looked like this right here. That creek has got a lot of iron in the water, and uh, it's got a lot of reddish dinge to it. And when you're fishing live baits, you need a, you need a bait tank that filters the water and puts a lot of oxygen in the water. And when I say filters the water, it's kind of like it runs through a filtering system and takes all the impurities out, kind of like an aquarium. So I'm gonna show y'all with this bait tank here, the difference it makes when you've got a good bait tank, okay? First of all, I'm gonna show you what the water looks like now. I've been kind of showing you throughout the fishing trip today, but okay, look here. I'm gonna show you right here the difference. All right, now look, here's the difference. That's after the water's been run through the filtration system in this extreme bait tank. And this is the water that we put in there to start with. Look at the difference. This is as clear as drinking water. And I'm gonna set this over here. Now the filters in this tank, I'm gonna show you what it does. See, this is what they're supposed to look like. 
that comes with it. They call socks. And what it does, that water goes in, in the bottom and filtrates up through these socks and it comes out in the top of the tank here. But it goes through these socks and filters it. And here's what the socks looks like. I'm gonna show you right now. <laughs> this is what the socks look like now after it filters that water out. Look here. Can y'all see that? Look at that. This is what they're supposed to look like. And that's all that reddish tint that it took out of the water today while we were fishing. So if you're thinking about live bait fishing, trust me, you need to get you a really good bait tank. And for me, it's this extreme bait tank for sure. Anyway, folks, I appreciate y'all tuning in. And if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, it's called Rocky Drake Outdoor Show. Would appreciate it. We're going to be doing a whole lot of this, and we'd love to take you along with us. And we'll see you next time. Yes, we will.